Our second speaker this afternoon is Vanitha Ganesan. Her title is A New Method to Help the Discovery of Diagnostic Biomarkers for Autoimmune Diseases. Our immune system protects us from infections by producing proteins called antibodies. Antibodies flag viruses and bacteria in order to attack them. In some people, the immune system gets confused due to a variety of factors and starts producing these antibodies that attack the individual's own body parts. This is called an autoimmune disease. Rheumatoid arthritis is one of the most common autoimmune disease affecting 2% of the US population. The disease starts with the inflammation of the joints all over the body and then slowly starts progressing to attack the vital organs, such as the heart or the lungs. The lung disease alone causes the death of 13% of RA patients. At this time, there are no predictive tests to predict the course of the disease. We set out to discover the set of proteins that are being flagged by these autoantibodies in the disease. A human cell produces over 2 million different protein types. So we rely on this technology to resolve these proteins based on their physical properties. This is like finding a needle in a haystack. So what we do here is um, color code the proteins based on the sample using uh, fluorescent dyes. And just like you would use a magnet to pull out the needles from a haystack, we use um, the patient's antibodies itself to pull out the proteins that they are flagging and then run them on this platform. And you can, as you can see in the two images, the each round object represents a protein type. And the green, uh, for example, comes from the patient with the lung disease, and the red without the lung disease, and you can see the differences. The yellow is supposed to be the proteins that are similar between the two patients. But what is going on here is actually a problem in the method. It's an artifact. The, like I told you, the antibodies are also proteins. So they're messing up and these big yellow blobs are actually the antibodies. And so to solve this problem, I developed a novel approach with which I capture these proteins and then wash away the antibodies and remove them and then run these proteins on this uh, beautiful platform which can resolve these proteins. And now this enables us to discover the proteins that are different between the patient with and the without, without the lung disease. And this helps us uh, to provide information which can be used to make predictive tests in the future to predict the course of the rheumatoid arthritis disease. Thank you. <laughs> 